Hi, I'm Bill and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the first piece of equipment that I've received uh, uh, that'll be part of my uh, telescope uh, kit. Uh, but before I do, I just want to give this qualification. I'm just a guy on the internet. I'm teaching myself with the help of forums and YouTube uh, and hopefully through your comments if you already have experience uh, how to do deep sky object imaging and uh, as a beginner I may make some uh, statements that could be incorrect I'm gonna do my best to give you factual information and you can count if I make any on me if I make any mistakes I'll definitely share those with you I won't be embarrassed so maybe you uh, learn from uh, my mistake and, and don't do it yourself uh, but anyway uh, you see on the screen the William Optics UniGuide 32 uh, millimeter guide scope uh, that's the first part of the kit that uh, uh, I received today um, and um, I'll just show you that um, this is the telescope that I've ordered um, it's the uh, William Optics uh, Xenostar 61 uh, Mod 2 uh, and this guide scope is going to fit on this top saddle that's on the telescope. It's going to slide right in there and so uh, uh, that's why I got it. So uh, let's go back to, uh, to this page and um, I received it in this box. Uh, it was uh, it has the shipping uh, eggs or with shells or whatever they're called in there and then there was another box inside so uh, I thought it was very well packaged and I also want to say while I got it from OPT uh, I'm not making any vendor recommendations right now because I haven't used enough of them uh, or purchased through them several times to really uh, have enough experience to make a recommendation uh, but so far I like what I see from OPT and then uh, inside uh, there was a box and inside this box is where you'll find the scope uh, so it's nicely packaged it includes a product warranty card and then uh, here's the scope I've already taken the, the plastic off and again uh, this has a dovetail on it and that is going to slide right into the top handlebar of the um, of the telescope um, 32 millimeters uh, uh, scope 120 focal length uh, and a f uh, 3.75 um, um, aperture so I'll get into later uh, how to use the guide scope initially I probably will not use the guide scope on top of the telescope uh, I want to see just how well my German equatorial mount which is a Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro how well does that do as far as tracking objects uh, and then I'll add this into the mix uh, to see if I can uh, refine uh, its ability to track uh, when we start to do the data acquisition phase so um, that's about it the uh, telescope should arrive later today uh, I figure within the next week or two I should have everything up and running and doing uh, the data acquisition. Um, one of the reasons I selected William Optics, clearly one reason was they had uh, uh, some items that were in stock in a couple of the uh, resellers, but I'd also done some research and uh, reviews and um, some people say William Optics is kind of in the mid-tier. I don't know because this is the first telescope and uh, that I've uh, had in my life uh, but um, you know so I did my research uh, good reviews with their products maybe a little bit more than some more entry-level uh, telescopes uh, but so far what I've seen on this product the fit and finish is fantastic and uh, you know we'll see how it performs now the other thing with this uh, scope is in this end, I will put this uh, ZWO uh, ASI 120mm uh, uh, mini, it's a monochrome camera, and this will then uh, provide assisted guidance. And essentially when you guide, uh, what, the, what this guide scope and the camera will enable is to give feedback to my mount 
uh, so we can make little corrections in how it's tracking. But uh, I don't want to get too much into that because uh, I don't know about a lot about that yet. I know about the high level, but as I go forward, I'll start to break it down for you based upon uh, my experiences, and I'll be able to uh, share my thoughts around those type of things. So, uh, again, uh, thank you for dropping in uh, to the channel. If you like this kind of content, please give, them, give it a thumbs up. As always, uh, I'd like to build my subscriber base. And what really drives the channel is comments and questions. Uh, I'm hoping some more experienced uh, uh, people with uh, astrophotography, deep uh, sky, object imaging experience uh, uh, join the channel and can help get me up the learning curve quicker through their uh, comments. And if you're also reading the comments and you're a beginner, well then that should help you get up your learning curve a little bit quicker as well. Uh, so again, this is about my journey into uh, astrophotography focused on deep sky object imaging. Uh, I'm a beginner, uh, but uh, I hope you come along with the journey uh, for the journey and uh, we can learn together. So that's about it. Until next time, thank you.